Stop stretching out columns like this to read long text. Instead, press Ctrl A. Press Alt H W. This wraps text to the cell width. Like and follow for daily tips. Don't waste time removing extra spaces like this. Automate all of that work with this instead. Enter the trim function. Select all of the data. Close off the formula. All finished. Noob Pro Alt A V V Bingo Bingo Bongo Excel Noob Excel Pro Bazinga. Select the data. Press Alt DP. Customize the pivot table. Oh, 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 it's magic. How to convert American units to the rest of the world. Piece of cake. 99% of Excel users don't know how to use equals to call. Most users just copy and paste data vertically like this. Instead, use equals to call to automate this process. Select the entire array of names. Close off the formula and boom. All the names are instantly combined into one list. How to focus the active cell in 5 seconds. Go to View tab. Pick a color. Boom, that's it. Noob. Pro. Amazing. How to add clickable files in 25 seconds. Press Alt and J. Browse for a file. Insert. Check display as icon. Press OK. Drag the files onto the worksheet. Double click the icon to open the file. Noob. Pro. How to create a dynamic drop down list in 30 seconds. Press Ctrl F3. Click New. Name the list. Enter this formula. Select a range for the drop down lists. Press Alt DL. Select list. Enter the list name from earlier. Click the drop down arrow to pick from the list. 
change the source list to auto update the drop down list options. Noob Pro Bam Want to make a chart like this? Select the data. Go to the Insert tab. Choose to Declustered Column Chart. Delete the title and grid lines. Go to the Insert tab again. Click Icons. Search People. Insert this icon. Copy and paste. On the right icon, change the graphic fill color to no fill. Change the graphic outline to red. On the left icon, change the graphic fill to red. Press Ctrl X. Click the blue chart and paste. Press Ctrl X again. Click the orange chart and paste. Right click the left icon. Go to Format Data Series. Change series overlap to 100% and gap width to 0%. Go to the Fill tab and click Stack and Scale Width. Change the numbers and watch the chart change. How to create a search bar in one minute. Go to the Developer tab. Insert a text box. Right click and click Properties. Link a cell to the search bar. Enter this formula. Screenshot in. 3, 2, 1. Screenshot now. Turn off design mode. Start typing away. The intern just sent me this messy file. This is how I cleaned it. Press Ctrl A. Then press Alt H E F. All clean. My boss was sharing his screen in a meeting and I saw him doing this. So I showed him the shortcut and he offered me a raise. Press Ctrl A. Alt H O I. Alt H O A. Boom. Like and follow for daily tips. Select the data. Press Alt H L N. Format only cells equal to yes. Click Format. Go to Fill tab. Select a color. This highlights every yes in green fill. Excel Noob. Excel Pro. Tada! Excel Noob. Google's how to find the greatest common denominator. Excel Pro. Does this instead? Whoa! Forget VLOOKUP and XLOOKUP. Try this function out instead. Press F4 to lock the range. Boom! It works! Don't filter data like this! Press Ctrl T to create a table. Click Insert Slicer. Choose Region. Go to Slicer tab and change columns to 4. 
Resize the slicer box. Move the box above the data table. Click any region. Hold Control to select multiple. Press here to clear the filters. Like and follow for daily tips. Not sure what formula you're looking for? Press Alt MF. Describe what you want to do. Click Go. Find the formula you want and click OK. Just what I needed. Excel Noob. Excel Pro. Easy peasy. Noob. Pro. Done. Noob. Pro. Boom. Excel Noob. Excel Pro. Easy as pie. How to create satisfying spider charts in Excel. Click the data. Go to the Insert tab. Choose Radar Chart. Delete the chart title. Double-click the numbers. Change maximum to 10. Adjust the legend. Double-click the legend. Change the color to green. Select from the drop-down and watch the chart change. How satisfying! Stop searching with Control F. It's too inefficient. Automate it with this. First, create a data validation list. Select the list source. Enter this formula. Select the database. Press F4 to add absolute references. Set the field as the current cell's header. Choose the criteria and press F4 to set absolute references. Drag the formula over. The best part? You can change the header names to customize the data you want to analyze. Like and follow for daily tips. Excel Noob. Excel Pro. Change the selections and watch the price change. Cool.